For centuries, humans have marveled at the mysteries of genetics, but one DNA puzzle stands out among all others, the genetic uniqueness of Aboriginal Australians. Imagine a lineage that connects us to the earliest migrations of humans out of Africa, preserved for tens of thousands of years in isolation on the vast Australian continent. Isn't it astonishing that Aboriginal Australians carry genetic markers dating back at least 65,000 years, offering a living timeline of human history? In this video, we'll dive deep into what makes Aboriginal Australian DNA so extraordinary, how it reveals untold stories of early human migration, and why it holds the key to understanding some of the most significant chapters in our species' evolution. But here's a twist. Their genetic diversity is so vast that groups within Australia are more distinct from each other than Siberians are from Native Americans. So, how did this happen? Stick around to find out. This is a story of ancient migrations, remarkable isolation, and groundbreaking science. More than 65,000 years ago, a small group of humans made an incredible journey out of Africa. They crossed vast, treacherous landscapes and open seas, eventually reaching a supercontinent known as Sol a landmass that connected present-day Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. These were the ancestors of today's Aboriginal Australians, one of the first human populations to venture so far from humanity's African origins. What's truly remarkable is that this migration predates the split between Asian and European populations by tens of thousands of years. Genetic studies have revealed that Aboriginal Australians and Papuans diverged from these groups around 58,000 years ago. By comparison, Europeans and Asians didn't fully separate until 42,000 years ago. This makes Aboriginal Australians among the earliest explorers of our planet, and they've maintained a continuous cultural connection to their land longer than any other group of humans. But here's the twist. While their ancestors shared some genetic similarities with populations in Asia, they became genetically isolated when they reached Sol. The rising sea levels around 10,000 years ago completed this isolation severing Australia and New Guinea from each other and from the rest of the world. Over time, this isolation allowed Aboriginal Australians to develop a genetic identity that is as unique as their rich cultural heritage. What's even more fascinating? Their DNA reveals traces of interactions with ancient hominin species like Denisovans, distant relatives of modern humans. About 4% of their genome is derived from these ancient species, offering a glimpse into prehistoric encounters that shaped their genetic makeup. This incredible journey wasn't just a migration. It was the beginning of one of humanity's oldest and most enduring stories, rooted in resilience, adaptation, and connection to the land. For tens of thousands of years, Aboriginal Australians lived in profound isolation, and this solitude played a critical role in shaping their genetic uniqueness. After reaching Sol around 50,000 years ago, the rising seas slowly transformed the landscape, cutting the continent off from the rest of the world. By 10,000 years ago, Australia and New Guinea were permanently separated. This geographic isolation meant that Aboriginal Australians were shielded from the waves of migration and cultural exchange that shaped other parts of the world. Unlike populations in Europe, Asia, or Africa, they were not part of the agricultural revolutions, the development of cities, or the spread of empires. Their genetic lineage remained largely untouched by outside influences, allowing their DNA to preserve ancient markers that have been lost in other populations over time. Researchers have found that this long-term isolation led to the development of genetic traits specifically adapted to Australia's extreme environments. For example, certain genes that regulate metabolism and body temperature show signs of adaptation to the continent's hot, arid deserts and cold nights. Studies also suggest unique genetic traits that enhance endurance and resilience, key factors for survival in harsh climates. But isolation didn't mean stagnation. Aboriginal Australians thrived by developing extensive trade networks within the continent, connecting groups across vast distances. Despite being separated by deserts, rivers, and mountains, they exchanged goods, art, and ideas. These connections maintained a level of cultural unity while their genetic code remained uniquely distinct. One of the most astonishing findings from genetic research is the incredible diversity among Aboriginal groups within Australia. Studies have shown that Aboriginal Australians from different parts of the continent can be as genetically distinct from each other as Europeans are from Asians. This diversity reflects the immense size of the continent with its vastly different ecosystems and the relative independence of regional groups over millennia. 
Isolation wasn't just a factor of geography. It also became part of their genetic identity. The lack of significant outside influence preserved a genetic link to ancient humans, including traces of Denisovan DNA. These ancient connections and the enduring isolation make Aboriginal Australians a living bridge to our prehistoric past. Aboriginal Australians carry genetic echoes of humanity's ancient past, making their DNA a fascinating window into early human evolution. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries is the significant traces of Denisovan DNA found in Aboriginal Australian genomes. Denisovans, an extinct group of archaic humans, were closely related to Neanderthals and are thought to have lived in parts of Asia thousands of years ago. As modern humans migrated out of Africa, they encountered an interbred with Denisovans in Southeast Asia. This gene flow left a lasting imprint, and Aboriginal Australians, along with Papuans, carry some of the highest levels of Denisovan ancestry among modern human populations. Studies estimate that up to 4-6% to of their genome can be traced back to Denisovans, compared to just 1-2% to in most other populations. This genetic legacy isn't just a relic of history. It likely contributed to their ability to adapt to the unique challenges of the Australian environment. For example, some genes inherited from Denisovans are thought to play a role in immune system function, potentially helping Aboriginal Australians resist certain diseases. There is also evidence that Denisovan DNA may have influenced traits such as metabolism and physical endurance, aiding survival in the harsh and varied climates of the Australian continent. In addition to Denisovan ancestry, Aboriginal Australians also share genetic markers with Neanderthals, another extinct human relative. While Neanderthal ancestry is common across non-African populations, the Denisovan connection is what sets Aboriginal Australians apart. This dual heritage creates a genetic tapestry that links them not only to early modern humans but also to the broader story of human evolution. What makes this even more remarkable is that these ancient connections have been preserved due to the long-term genetic isolation of Aboriginal Australians. While other populations were shaped by multiple waves of migration and interbreeding, Aboriginal Australians maintained a more direct link to these ancient ancestors. This genetic bridge to our distant past highlights the incredible resilience and uniqueness of Aboriginal Australian DNA. It also underscores how much we can learn about our shared human history by studying these ancient lineages. The rich cultural history of Aboriginal Australians is intricately woven into their genetic identity, creating a legacy that extends far beyond their DNA. Their traditions, oral histories, and connection to the land have played a pivotal role in shaping and preserving their unique genetic makeup. For tens of thousands of years, Aboriginal Australians lived as custodians of the land, adhering to practices deeply rooted in sustainability and harmony with nature. This way of life was not only cultural but also biological. Living in isolation from other populations, they developed genetic traits that aligned with their environment. For instance, adaptations for thermoregulation allowed them to endure the extremes of the Australian desert and the cold nights in tropical regions, showcasing the interplay between culture and biology. The concept of country is central to Aboriginal culture, a profound spiritual connection to the land that defines identity, responsibility, and belonging. This bond also influenced genetic diversity. Small, interconnected communities maintain distinct genetic profiles, with each group adapting to their specific region. Unlike populations shaped by large-scale migrations, Aboriginal Australians sustained localized gene pools preserving a high degree of genetic variation across the continent. Cultural practices, such as intertribal marriages, played a significant role in maintaining genetic health. While they fostered a sense of unity among neighboring groups, these practices also introduced new genetic variations, preventing the risks associated with small, isolated populations. Oral traditions, passed down through generations, reinforced these practices, ensuring the survival and resilience of their communities. However, the arrival of European settlers disrupted this delicate balance. Colonization brought devastating consequences, including displacement, loss of land, and exposure to new diseases. These events dramatically affected the genetic diversity of Aboriginal Australians, leading to a decline in population numbers and the erosion of some cultural practices. Yet, despite these challenges, the strength of their cultural identity has endured preserving a deep connection to their ancestral heritage. Modern genomic studies have revealed how cultural events, such as migration patterns within the continent and the spread of the Pamanyungan language family, 
have left identifiable marks on Aboriginal Australian DNA. These findings illuminate how their culture has not only survived but actively shaped their genetic identity over millennia. Aboriginal Australians remind us of the inseparable link between culture and biology. Their story is one of resilience, a testament to how deeply human history and heritage are embedded within our very DNA. The genetic uniqueness of Aboriginal Australians is deeply tied to their geographic and cultural isolation, a factor that has profoundly influenced their evolutionary journey. This isolation, spanning tens of thousands of years, is one of the defining aspects that sets Aboriginal Australian DNA apart from other populations. Approximately 50,000 to 65,000 years ago, the ancestors of Aboriginal Australians migrated to Seoul, a supercontinent comprising modern-day Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. This migration coincided with a period of lower sea levels, enabling the crossing of land bridges and narrow sea passages. Once settled, these populations became geographically isolated as rising sea levels severed Seoul into separate landmasses. This physical isolation played a key role in shaping their genetic distinctiveness, as it limited contact with other human populations for tens of millennia. This isolation allowed Aboriginal Australians to retain genetic traits from some of the earliest humans to leave Africa. Unlike populations in Europe and Asia, which experienced significant gene flow from migrations and mixing, Aboriginal Australians' DNA remained remarkably stable over time. This stability is evident in their mitochondrial DNA and Y-chromosome lineages, which show deep roots extending back to the first major human dispersals out of Africa. Isolation also amplified the effects of natural selection in their environment. Adaptations to the harsh Australian climate, including thermoregulation and efficient metabolism, emerged as key survival traits. These adaptations are visible in genetic markers that differentiate Aboriginal Australians from other populations, highlighting how isolation fosters evolutionary divergence. While isolation contributed to their genetic distinctiveness, it also presented challenges. The lack of genetic input from outside populations heightened their susceptibility to diseases introduced by Europeans during colonization. Small, isolated populations often experience reduced genetic diversity, making them more vulnerable to the effects of epidemics, a factor that tragically impacted Aboriginal Australians during this period. Despite the geographical barriers, limited cultural exchanges did occur with neighboring groups, such as the Torres Strait Islanders and Macassan traders from Indonesia. These interactions introduced subtle genetic and cultural influences, yet they were not substantial enough to override the broader isolation that defined Aboriginal Australian populations. Modern genetic studies have underscored the depth of this isolation. Researchers have found that Aboriginal Australians diverged from Papuans and other populations of Seoul approximately 37,000 years ago, despite their landmasses remaining connected until about 10,000 years ago. This divergence highlights the extent to which isolation shaped their genetic narrative, preserving their distinct lineage while fostering regional diversity across the Australian continent. The story of Aboriginal Australian DNA is a testament to the power of isolation in shaping human history. Their genetic uniqueness, forged through millennia of separation, stands as a reminder of humanity's incredible diversity and resilience. Aboriginal Australian DNA holds remarkable clues about humanity's ancient past, particularly in relation to interactions with other human species. These interactions, which occurred tens of thousands of years ago, left genetic imprints that still influence Aboriginal Australians today. As early humans migrated out of Africa, they encountered and interbred with other hominin species, including Neanderthals and Denisovans. These species, which were already established in parts of Eurasia, contributed small but significant amounts of DNA to the genetic makeup of non-African populations. Aboriginal Australians, as descendants of one of the earliest migratory groups, carry traces of these interactions in their genomes. The Denisovan connection is particularly notable. Aboriginal Australians and their close genetic relatives, the Papuans, have one of the highest proportions of Denisovan DNA among modern human populations, with approximately 4% of their genome derived from this archaic species. This is significantly higher than the levels found in East Asians and other groups. The Denisovans, who were first identified through DNA extracted from fossils in Siberia, are believed to have lived across parts of Asia, making it likely that early human ancestors of Aboriginal Australians encountered them during their migration to Seoul. Denisovan DNA may have conferred adaptive advantages to these early humans. 
For instance, genes inherited from Denisovans are thought to have played a role in enhancing immunity, helping populations survive in new and challenging environments. While the specifics of these genetic contributions are still being studied, it's clear that these interactions enriched the genetic toolkit of early Aboriginal Australians. Interactions with Neanderthals also left a mark on Aboriginal Australian DNA. Like most non-African populations, they carry around 2% Neanderthal DNA. This shared ancestry suggests that encounters with Neanderthals occurred before the ancestors of Aboriginal Australians diverged from other groups, likely during their initial migration through the Middle East and South Asia. Interestingly, recent research has also hinted at the possibility of interactions with other, yet unidentified, hominin species. Genetic evidence suggests that Aboriginal Australians may have inherited DNA from a mysterious archaic population that diverged from modern humans even earlier than Neanderthals and Denisovans. This enigmatic lineage, sometimes referred to as a ghost population, remains a fascinating puzzle for scientists, as no physical fossils have been linked to these genetic traces. These ancient interactions illustrate the complexity of human evolution and migration. Aboriginal Australians not only represent one of the oldest continuous populations on Earth but also carry within them the genetic echoes of humanity's deep past. Their DNA bridges the gap between modern humans and our archaic relatives, offering invaluable insights into how these ancient encounters shaped our species. The genetic legacy of Aboriginal Australians extends beyond their unique evolutionary journey. It continues to provide profound insights into human biology, health, and adaptability. Understanding how this ancient lineage has influenced their resilience and modern identity is a testament to the enduring impact of their DNA. Aboriginal Australians possess genetic adaptations that reflect their deep connection to the diverse and often extreme Australian environment. For example, their DNA reveals traits linked to thermoregulation, which helped them survive the harsh desert conditions of Central Australia. A specific gene mutation allows for efficient heat dissipation, enabling Aboriginal Australians to maintain higher body temperatures during hot weather without undue strain on their metabolism. Such adaptations highlight how their DNA is intertwined with the land they've inhabited for tens of thousands of years. Health studies on Aboriginal Australians have also uncovered important genetic clues about immunity. The Denisovan and Neanderthal DNA in their genomes may have enhanced their ability to resist certain diseases. While these genetic traits were beneficial in ancient times, modern lifestyles and diseases have created new challenges. Aboriginal Australians are disproportionately affected by health conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer, which are influenced by genetic predispositions, lifestyle changes, and social inequities. On the global stage, research into Aboriginal Australian genetics has broad applications. By studying their genomes, scientists gain insights into ancient human migration patterns, helping refine the timeline of when humans spread across the globe. Aboriginal DNA also contributes to understanding how genes interact with environmental pressures, which can inform medical advancements for diverse populations. Culturally, the knowledge encoded in Aboriginal DNA reinforces their identity as the world's oldest continuous civilization. Despite the traumas of colonization and the systemic challenges they face, the genetic evidence confirms their deep, uninterrupted connection to the land. This legacy is a source of pride for many Aboriginal Australians, affirming what their oral traditions have long taught. They have walked this land since the dream time. The legacy of Aboriginal Australian DNA serves as a bridge between humanity's ancient origins and its present. It offers not only a window into the past, but also the tools to address contemporary challenges in health and science. This genetic heritage is a reminder of the resilience and continuity of a people who have shaped and been shaped by one of the most unique environments on Earth.